Hey guys, it's your girl Fit Sid, and I'm back with another video. And this one is actually geared more towards influencers, models, and people that are looking to use OnlyFans. So if you guys are watching this and you're like, oh, I'm not really that interested in learning about OnlyFans, then that's completely fine. You can totally keep watching. But if you are an influencer or you know someone who is in social media and wants to use something like Patreon or they're in the adult industry, this is the video for you. So with that being said, I just want to give you a little bit of background before we go into it and do a little disclaimer. This video is for informational purposes only. I am not convincing anyone to go and sign up or do anything that they would not like to do. If you are under the age of 18, you are not allowed to be on that site anyway, I'm pretty sure. So with that being said, I just wanted to give my disclaimer and let's get into the video. So first of all, I have been doing OnlyFans now since November. OnlyFans is similar to Patreon, not like Patreon with the different tiers and I think it is so much more user friendly and you actually are able to interact with your viewers and the subscribers a lot easier. And um, that's something that I needed because I didn't want to make it like pay $100 for this tier, pay $2 for this tier. Like I wanted something that was just gonna be inclusive to everyone, not making anyone feel like one person is better because they have a different tier than the other one. So just for reference, it is a one price for a membership, it's monthly. And when you're thinking about the month, like the pricing for yours, just know that it you have to gear it towards your audience. So if you have people that are trying to sign up and purchase it and stuff, like make it affordable for them. Before we get into making the account, I do wanna say I do have a referral link. So I would really appreciate it if you're watching this video and you don't have an account, or if you do have an account and you wanna actually just start fresh, I would really, really appreciate it. And I would love you if you used my referral link because it's supporting me for making this video because I'm pretty sure it'll get demonetized. <laughs> so with that being said, if you are a model and influencer, someone that just creates content on the side, you're a photographer, anything like that, this video hopefully will help you out a lot and I can definitely give you some tips. So with that being said, if you do wanna use my referral link and I see that you actually used it and it has to be like someone that's actually posting content, not just someone that's gonna be paying for other people's OnlyFans, if that makes sense. Like you have to be a creator yourself and you get a shout out on my OnlyFans. So with that being said, that is kind of what I'm offering if you use my referral link and uh, you don't have to get it either. But if you are interested in that, I would love to promote you and uh, help you grow. All right, so one of the big things is when you're creating your OnlyFans, figure out what you wanna post and how often you wanna post and everything like that. I think that is one of the hardest things because you just need to understand like what you're wanting to do. So for me personally, I am in the adult industry. I post adult content and I also do fitness, um, not on my OnlyFans, but like I also do fitness. So for me, I had the option to do either daily workouts or I could do the adult stuff. And I decided I was gonna do the adult stuff. And um, so I ended up doing that. I chose what I wanted to do. I kept my normal name on there and I linked my Twitter account to it. I also watermarked my content. So OnlyFans has an option for you to watermark and write whatever you want for your watermark. And I personally just have mine say OnlyFans.com slash FitSid only because then I know exactly where the content is coming from if it does get posted somewhere else. So if you're in, like looking at a platform and you want to make sure that you know that it will be watermarked. This is awesome because they do it by themselves. It's in the settings before you even post anything. It automatically will watermark it for you. The next thing, if you don't have a website of your own and you're looking to make it a little more official rather than OnlyFans.com slash FitSid, um, what I would do is I would buy a domain name and hook it up to your OnlyFans. So if I were to do that, it would be FitSid.com, but I do have my own website, so I don't have them linked up. But that's a really great way for them to have an easier way to remember it and reach your content. I know a lot of people that have like official blank.com and it goes to their OnlyFans. So if you're curious, that's also a really great way for you to kind of build up a name for yourself and keep it so that then it's not promoting like OnlyFans.com all the time. It's promoting your own brand and you're on OnlyFans platform utilizing that. All right, so those are just a couple things that I really like about OnlyFans, and I wanted to mention that so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Now, when you create an account, think of a few different things. As a creator, you usually already have your name, you usually know what kind of content you're creating, 
and you want to figure out the price so for me personally I charge $35 a month for my content I do post daily and I post um, eight minute long videos a lot of the time with other people in them and my content I put a lot of hard work and effort into um, and I have a lot of fun with it so for me I feel like that price point is good but for some other people if you charge less for certain things and your videos usually cost like $4.99 for something I would definitely say to go around like the $14.99 range and if you so if that makes sense like price your content accordingly to your audience who is buying your content like the demographic make it so that then you feel motivated to continue posting and I always say the more you content you post um, you want to make it your worthwhile too you don't want to feel like you're putting all this effort into a platform and you are making five dollars a month or whatever because you're charging for 3.99 or 4.99 i think 4.99 is the lowest and you only have one fan but you're putting in all this effort so i would definitely say like 14.99 is a pretty good standard for a lot of people um i just post a lot more content on there and there's so much that they have instant access to when they subscribe for even one month that for me I feel like that price point is what makes me want to post daily rather than less often so the biggest tip that I can say is when you first go on and if I have any examples that I can put in on the side here I definitely will but I would go into my settings if I were you and I would connect my Twitter that is gonna be key to promoting because every time that you post it will post your beginning of your caption and then onlyfans.com slash fitsid so for me personally I, it does that but then i also say if you're going to promote your content i would say to put a little caption so for example i would say oh my gosh i just filmed with the beautiful inner mads and we oiled our bodies up so that would be my caption then i would have a photo like a screenshot from the video that i'm going to post and then the OnlyFans link and I would post that on Twitter as well so if you're looking to promote your Twitter is connected but then do some posting outside of what it automatically tweets all right so another thing is when you're doing that and you're going to promote yourself and you want to get your first new fans I'm gonna be actually covering a lot more promotional tips um, content creation tips and all of that stuff this is just the bare minimum beginner stuff in a separate video but basically some more things that you can do on OnlyFans that I love and I utilize every single day there is the mass messaging so there's the option to message people and I know that there's a lot of girls out there who are like I don't have time to message well these people are important if they're messaging you there is an option for them to send you a tip they can always and this is what I say create a tip menu and do a pinned post at the top that way they can always refer to this and you can put a different like type of set of things I guess and I can include my tip menu on the side right here so I'll include that so you can kind of see like what I currently offer <sighs> besides nap time I have a tip menu and um, <clears throat> with that tip menu it's awesome because when people are messaging you like I personally do message people back without requiring tips but there's some people out there who are like okay well I only charge $14.99 so I need to have you tip me if you'd like to have a longer conversation or get extra photos or custom videos. Like for me, I will do custom videos in the direct messages and that's another way to get a little more income out of it. And you can build a closer relationship with that person because you've been talking to them, they want a custom video and they can trust that you will come through with that. So I just love the fact that they have the tipping option on OnlyFans so they can tip on the video that you or the photo or the post but they can also tip through the direct messages. Now with direct messages, they also have mass messaging. So what I like to do sometimes is instead of posting a video on my feed, I make it exclusive to only the people that are subscribed in that moment. So um, people can't see it later or earlier and it's more personal. So I like to use the mass messaging option and you can send it to however many fans you have at a time and you mass message them a video, a photo, a message, and you just let them know that you're thinking about them or that you have this awesome video that you wanna share with them, a cool photo, or all of the above. And I love that option because rather than me individually having to send a video over and over and over again, I can do that and then the people who reply, I can continue the conversation with. So that is one thing that I really, really love about OnlyFans. They have the mass messaging and they connect your Twitter so it helps you promote. They watermark your content 
and just like Twitter you can have that pinned tweet at the top so I would recommend your pinned tweet has your socials your tip menu and a sizzle reel and the reason I say that is because they can always go back and see your favorite hot shots of yourself workouts whatever you use the OnlyFans platform for like make that a compilation of your favorite things or you talking as like an intro explaining the tip menu like whatever you want to do for that but that one is going to be the way to get all of the word out there it's just a great idea because they can tip and they can get a lot closer to you and you can build a real bond and relationship with these people rather than you know on twitter where it's like less personal and on many vids they have to buy a clip whereas this is like a community you know all right so there are so many options when it comes to only fans that I utilize on a daily basis like I haven't even talked about since I've been on this long video that I've already created but one of the main things that I love is scheduling posts so if you guys don't know I do have to travel occasionally um, when I have to go film and shoot with other people or you know I don't my family lives in Sweden so I'm sometimes you know you just have life happen and when life happens it's awesome because you can create a ton of amazing content and know that it's still gonna go up for your viewers to see. Um, utilizing the scheduled posts is amazing. I've never had any issues with the scheduled posts and I've been on since November and they've always been perfect. So one of the biggest things I can say is when we're gonna get into uploading after this, but I utilize scheduled posts and I like to post every single day. Maybe not a video every single day, but I always post some type of photo set. Doesn't have to be professional, okay? Um, a video, a comment, a poll, you make sure you interact with them. You have so many options on OnlyFans and I'm actually going to pull it up on my phone because I love OnlyFans and the fact that it is so easy to use. So this morning I posted, I've been posting a few things and I love doing that throughout the day and making sure that they know that I'm thinking about them, I care about them and um, I can also go and post more things throughout the day and then I can focus on the direct messaging. So if you schedule posts, it's awesome because that way you have already filmed it, edited it, done whatever you need to do, created the caption, you know it's going to go up at that time, and during that time you can spend it talking to them or working on more content or whatever and you know it's going to go up. It's just like having a private YouTube channel, kind of. So we are going to go into the magical world. Where am I going to go? What was I going to do on here? Oh yeah, I was going to create a post. So at the very bottom, we're going to just not actually show this to you guys because it's uh, probably not appropriate for Instagram. But this is actually what my OnlyFans profile looks like if it will show you. But at the very bottom, it has the compose a message in the very middle. And you can create a post just like this. And you can actually do this off your phone, on your computer, on a desktop, a tablet, whatever. OnlyFans is so versatile. So you can go here and then you hit the three dots. You can go to the three dots and you click the three dots and then it gives you the option to post a photo, to make a post only visible for a certain amount of time. And we're going to click that so you can see it has an expiration period. And the reason that I don't really use this is because I like to have my feed be my feed and then my direct messages be like the expired stuff that people have to be subscribed in that moment to get. Um, and then you can schedule a post and I love that because you can pick the time and it's whatever time zone you're already in, that's what it picks. And then the date and stuff and you can schedule stuff out. If you're a photographer, you could literally post a whole month's worth of photo sets if you're just getting on there and then you can be working on the next month um, and then you can do a poll so one of the things that I love is you can pick the duration of the poll and then you can um, just make it very easy you can add like do you like this do you like that and add like a million different options and they're able to vote on that and it, it creates engagement without making them comment and personally my only fans I don't gauge my success through my comments or my likes because People look at your content and they say subscribe, so you have to realize the fan count and the messages you're getting personally are more important than the likes and the comments you get on your posts. So the other option is you can actually go live. So if you are someone that wants to do more live streaming and you want to pick a date and a time, um, this is something that I really do want to get into. I just have to learn how to work my webcam, but when I do that, I want to start doing live streaming as well and I've done it before on there when I've been on vacation and I've been wanting to like show something fun at the pool but 
like live streaming is awesome because if you have a set date and time one day a week and they're subscribed you can build a bigger bond with them and you can just make it something awesome and a community and they can tip during it and it's just like you know if you want to do camming it's like that but it's only for those people on there and it's not public and I don't think they have they do watermark your stream after if you post it onto your feed but I don't know if there's a watermark during it so um, I can't remember that but I just love the fact that I know where my content is going and um, rather than being on like a chatterbait or on uh, my free cams or anything like that like it's something that's personal and exclusive to them one of the other things that I really do like about the live stream option is people can tip during it they can comment they can heart it um, and then they can also like see it afterwards so if people weren't able to join that live stream they can see it later on and if you have a big enough following on there and you say a date and a time you will have a lot of interaction because you just tell them like the theme of it and a lot of people are going to want to come and you can have them vote so what i did a while back is i had people vote when they would actually want to see a live stream and my most popular date was friday around 10 p.m which I tested that and no one really came on so you just have to kind of like go through and see okay when are they actually gonna show up um, but it's a really great option because I was able to repost the stream and a ton of people were like wow I need to come to the next one so now when I learn how to work my webcam I'm gonna do that too but it's just a really great way to make it more exclusive and then you can promote that as well so someone who's new if you are totally new to OnlyFans and you just signed up using my referral link see what I did there but um, if you're interested in doing OnlyFans and you're like okay how often should I post now when it comes to uploading biggest thing I can say is to compress your files because it will upload a lot faster make it mp4s not movs and um, compressing your files is gonna and making them a little smaller is really gonna help the process with uploading time and um, making it so they can see it quicker because otherwise you sit there and it uploads for like four hours just like YouTube but I realized when I started using this um, application on my computer called handbrake that really helped so if you use a compressing uh, video compressor already then you're all good to go but if you're looking for one handbrake is awesome and um, I was really lucky because I have someone in my life who she is like a genius when it comes to all these technical things and we actually met through YouTube and she taught me how to use Handbrake and um, it has been a lifesaver so if you're interested use Handbrake use that before you upload your files and it only does video I'm pretty sure but um, those are the ones that take forever to upload anyway so if you're new though I would recommend when you come to upload four times a week and when I say that it doesn't have to be eight minute videos like I know the people that are going to be watching this are mostly going to be people from my industry um, or people that are interested in just like learning about this but um, I feel like we feel a pressure to post things that are not true to ourselves and I definitely in the beginning was really scared about that and I was struggling hard and then I realized wow I can post whatever I want and I want to be happy with what I post and I decided instead of being po like I post daily but I post like photo sets, I post video that is like high quality, awesome content that I'm proud of, I post random like blooper things, I post uh, polls, I post uh, screenshots and teasers and just fun things like that because I know that that's something that they want to see and it keeps them engaged and I post daily but I would recommend if you are starting out do not post daily, it will make them want and assume that you're always going to do that. I would definitely say four times a week is awesome because it gives you three days off and those can be your content creation days if you are struggling to keep up with creating content. The other thing I would say is, you know, make sure you utilize those mass messages because that's how you're going to keep those fans. They are paying to be getting more access to you than they would on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, on whatever platform that you have built up. They are going to subscribe because they want something to engage with you and the biggest thing I would say is I check it morning noon and night um, for messaging and I only get like 30 messages right now because those are my consistent people who really want to talk to me but it makes a hell of a difference because they want to they want to talk to you and those are the people that are going to continue paying that monthly membership and those are the people that really want to help you so when times are tough or you're going through a bad day they're there for you and it sounds really silly but like um in the beginning of starting only fans i had really bad self-esteem and i feel like without having them there it, it kind of 
probably would have been different but i was able to cultivate like really awesome you know just like relationships but obviously they have boundaries and um you know get to know them better and make them feel special and know that they are special and unique and you know they're helping you be able to pay your bills so i i think that like you create boundaries but just know that they, they're important and to utilize the messaging option on there so i know i've been talking your ear off and i just want to mention one last thing this is one of the only downfalls to only fans and it's their payment processing system so they have a 3d secure card a uh, payment processor basically that says hey like you need to have safe processing which i think is awesome but i also think it's totally shitty because it's just very like picky with what cards they can accept and everything but i definitely think that it's uh, still a really good option and a lot of people who have an only fans account subscribe to not just yours but they subscribe to like two others and um I haven't seen too many issues with it, but that's why I would say like OnlyFans is awesome, but that's like the one downfall. Other than that though, I love OnlyFans and I've been loving my experience with them and just being able to utilize the platform and have so many things built into one place rather than having to go from here to here to here to here. And it's awesome because I feel like it's a better version of Patreon with less tiers, more user friendly, and um... Yeah, so I really, really hope that this video helped you out. I know that I was a mess when I started. I had no idea what to do. And now I have learned so much in the past November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Like, do you know how long I've been on? It's been awesome. It's been a wild ride. And I'm very thankful for the fans that have stuck with me since the beginning. And I hope that you guys use my referral code. And if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, so I hope that you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. See ya, babe. Don't forget to use my referral link. Bye.